each year, it is estimated that approximately 500,000 people contract with serral leishmaniasis or Kala Azar. 90% of these victims live in India, Nepal, Bangladesh, Sudan and Brazil. This is the sandfly that transmits Kala Azar, a fatal disease if left untreated. This disease is mainly found in Bihar and adjoining states in India. Kala Azar primarily affects the poorest of the poor in the rural areas. The Kala Azar affected families suffer huge economic losses because of the cost of treatment and the loss of income by the patient who is often the earning member of the family. The families in most cases end up by selling their current assets or are in huge debt. <laughs> An untreated person suffering from Kala Azar can transmit the disease to other healthy members of the family as the sandfly bites the patient and transmits the parasite to those around him. वर्तमान में हमारी बहन है इसको कालाजर हुआ यहां अभी हम 10000 रुपया कर्ज लेके आ रहे हैं दो तो बीमारी के लिए अभी आर्थिक तंगी इतना है सर कि यदि हम चाहते भी हैं कि किसी हॉस्पिटल में या अच्छे क्लिनिक में हम अपने बच्चों को इलाज कराबे या बच्चे को अच्छे से पढ़ावे लिखावे वो संभव नहीं है मैं नमक पढ़ता हूं मैं 2 महीना से स्कूल नहीं जा सका बीमारी के कमजोरी हो गया बहुत बीमारी के कारण The sandfly thrives in organic material and mud-walled homes with poor household hygiene. As the sandfly can only travel short distances, the families of infected persons are at the highest risk of getting the disease. The governments of India Nepal and Bangladesh have now committed themselves to eliminate Kala Azar from the subcontinent by 2015. We now have effective tools to eliminate dreadful Kala Azar and new medicines and diagnostic tools are being developed to tackle the disease. Early diagnosis and prompt as well as complete treatment are essential to save the life of a Kala Azar patient and prevent its spread to others. However, the drugs against Kala Azar are effective only if the patient completes his full treatment cycle. It is important to complete the treatment fully as advised to save the life of the patient, encourage full recovery and prevent the disease from spreading to others. Vector control measures like indoor residual spraying are also very effective in reducing the transmission spread 
of the disease. The National Vector-Borne Disease Control Program of the Government of India, with the support from partners like the World Health Organization, the World Bank, and several concerned individuals and agencies, is providing simple, easy to use, and cheap diagnostic tests, drugs for treatment, and insecticide spraying through its public health programs. In addition, financial support is being provided for the patient during his treatment. Currently, diagnostic tests, RK39 dipstick, and drugs, multifosine, amphotericin B and others are available free of cost at all government facilities in Kala Azar affected areas. There are new and complementary solutions in the treatment of Kala Azar. One such opportunity is treatment with paramomycin IM injection. The drug has been developed by Institute for One World Health in partnership with WHO and other leading research institutions in India, including the Indian Council of Medical Research. The drug has been registered in India by the Drug Controller General of India in 2006 and in 2007, included in the essential medicine list of WHO. The drug is manufactured in India by Gland Pharmaceuticals, the treatment is a 21-day course of intramuscular injection. Today, the success stories are many. Rinku was lucky to receive the right treatment. Dilip Kumar Mehta was fortunate too. His father had previously been treated for VL and knew of the availability of treatment. Together, the family decided that the leap must take advantage of the new treatment being offered. Today, he is back to living a full and energetic life. Three factors are crucial for achieving Kala Azar elimination. Quality indoor residual spray early diagnosis and prompt as well as complete treatment, monitoring and supervision. For an effective indoor residual spray, the timing of the spray activity and the quality of the spray are important. Two rounds of DDT spraying have to be applied each year in the endemic areas. To ensure quality, the sprayers need proper training and require monitoring. It is important to emphasize that the family and the community cooperate and ensure that every area of the household that should be sprayed is sprayed thoroughly to get the maximum benefit from the spraying. Another key component to eliminating Kala Azar is ensuring the availability of diagnostics and drugs in all health facilities. All health centers must have adequate and constant supply of rapid tests and drugs for treatment. The diagnosis and drugs are being supplied free of cost to the patients. And the communities affected must be made aware of the signs and symptoms of Kala Azar, prevention tips and treatment options through the community-based volunteers like ASHAs. The whole program needs to be monitored at every level of government in order to measure progress. Following the monitoring, corrective measures have to be taken. We are now at an exciting phase in the Kala Azar Elimination Program. We have effective tools in diagnostics, medicines and insecticides to wipe out Kala Azar from the Indian subcontinent. However, in order to achieve this, the government, NGOs and the community must join hands. The role of the people's representatives and community leaders today is vital 
in achieving the goal of VL elimination by 2015.